Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. I haven't seen you guys in a full week. And now we get to talk about what happens when you take down the Christmas tree, the sparkling lights, and all the pretty glitz, and your house is left with, uh, that's actually a great time of year. And it's also why I'm so busy in January. People see their house differently and they go, oh, it was pretty about a couple weeks ago, now it's kind of blah. When you're taking stuff down, the tree, the lights, uh, keep going. Keep going and take things away. It's your time to, as you're taking things down, but you know what, I'll take this down too, I'll take that down too. Maybe you set it off in a box in your garage for a little while and just live without it and kind of see, my space looks better, it looks lighter, it looks updated. Keep going. What's really hard is if you kind of go piece by piece, you're not gonna get very far. So here's my tip. If you're in a room, let's say like the family room, and you look at all your visual surfaces, tables, little end tables, whatever, a lot of them just have a little stuff on it. Some has to be there because you know it it's works for us or whatever. But some there's just a lot of pieces. Clear those all off, bookcases included. I know bookcases are a lot of work, but this is worth it. And whether it's in a hallway or a, just while you're doing this, just clear it out of sight. Then your eyes will see your whole space differently. Put back the most important, a big lamp, a big frame of your favorite thing. But just slowly, oh, he's coming back. <laughs> just slowly putting things back in to kind of see my space doesn't need that much stuff and it looks more interesting. That alone will freshen your place for 2018. When I go to while you're out, uh, sometimes people will get this room ready where kind of nothing's in it and I can kind of add things in, what I call layering in. Other times I'm left with stuff that I'm like, should I use this, should I not use this? I can kind of tell sizes and scale and shape what I should use and whatnot and how I'm gonna kind of arrange the furniture. So I'm, I'm seeing it through different eyes, I get that. But you can do this on your own where you're just kind of cleaning up your space and you go, now it feels updated. And it's such a simple tip and you haven't spent a cent. Then you'll start to see, okay, do I need a rug in this area? Do I need one little round table in this area? What do I need to, does this wall need to be kind of recreated with different pictures? Then you'll have direction and guidance on how to do that to make it look updated and clean. So I personally love December and taking stuff down because I think it's the sign of the fresh start and a great look for your home. Which leads me to tomorrow will be Friday favorites and I have a few things I'm thinking about too. Things you can use in your home but you don't have to spend a lot of money. So, make a decision, love where you live. The other one. Save money. Happy, happy last few days of 2017.